Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today we are deep dive into the most complex topic of every test automation, element selectors. It seems that Playwright developers also consider this topic a complex one, so they introduce the friendliest way to find elements in the HTML code. Get methods. You don't have to invent some sophisticated selector expressions to locate an element. Skim the page source code and use the suitable function. For instance, in the test, we need to click on the espresso cup. In the page source code, we see the area label attribute and can assume that the cup can be found by the get by label function. Let's check the doc to confirm our assumption. This function will return the locator object, and it deserves our attention. This object can represent 0, 1, or many elements. No more null pointers and element not found exceptions. You may safely check if the element exists and is visible. Let's check there is no whiskey on the menu. I will add two different assertion types to demonstrate the range of possibilities. Done. Let's check if there is more than one coffee with espresso in the name. Done. Let's find the first espresso cup. Done. It is so easy. You may argue that my example is trivial, and in real life, it is much harder to locate the elements. That's why you can use well-known CSS or XPath selectors. You may specify the search engine explicitly or just type a selector, and the playwright will figure it out for you. If you are new to CSS and XPath, I will leave a few links to the guidelines in the description. The most general recommendations are, if the element has some unique ID or kind of ID, use it. Short expression is better than long one. Relative expression is better than absolute one. That's all the information you need to cover the vast majority of your test automation needs but I would like to share with you a few more useful tips and tricks. First, sometimes we need to locate the parent element of the searched element. You can use the filter method and filter parents by having or not having text or other locator elements by their locator objects. Second, if you want to narrow down search results by using different types of locator functions, use and method. And if the selector of the needed element varies from run to run, use or method to locate all possible variants.
Third, the Playwright is a very fast tool. If you have elements with the same selector on different web pages, and you must interact with both of them, make sure navigation is done because I had a lot of time wasted debugging why the button is not clicked on the page. Add some explicit wait or check if some specific elements are visible on the page. Fourth, read the locator's official doc. It is awesome and has a lot of examples. And even more, check out the danger zone. There is a way to chain selector expressions. If you ever dreamed of joining CSS and XPath selectors, nothing can stop you now. It is not so complicated now, isn't it? I would advise you to create a bunch of tests to interact with different elements on the coffee cart page to get familiar with locators. Hit the subscribe button so as not to miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcomed and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.